It's very appropriate for us to do this at the Intermodal Transportation Center, or the ITC as we call this facility. Uh, this is the heart of public transportation uh, for Fort Worth and, uh, uh, and the western side of the, uh, of the Metroplex. Uh, this particular building is, um, uh, is a wonderful facility. It was built uh, with great architectural features. Um, one, of the, one of the features that Nancy told me about are the, uh, the chandeliers are from the old library in downtown Fort Worth. And so there was a great uh, attempt to reuse uh, some of uh, Fort Worth's history in this building. And, uh, and I hope those of you who are here for the first time will take a moment to, to look around. Because from this facility, the project we're here uh, to talk about today, uh, TexRail will operate the trains from this facility uh, to the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, uh, stopping at uh, intermediate stops, um, uh, especially uh, our friends in uh, Grapevine. And, um, but also from this facility, uh, Amtrak operates its national passenger rail network. Uh, this happens to be the, the busiest uh, Amtrak station in the state of Texas. We have uh, four trains a day. Um, sorry to my folks from, my friends from Switzerland, four trains a day sounds like a, uh, I won't even go there. Uh, but for Fort Worth and for Texas, it's, it's pretty good, four trains a day. We're working on that for Amtrak. But we have uh, um, our Trinity Railway Express that runs service to the airport. Um, that runs morning, noon, and night. That's, that's more like uh, a Swiss network. Uh, but we have Greyhounds National Network is here. And uh, we also have uh, rental cars. And the heart of the bus fleet that serves Fort Worth for the Fort Worth Transportation Authority um, is all here. So it's very appropriate that this is the location that we meet uh, in to sign this document today. So um, the other thing I want to, to say is that we try to do the best for Fort Worth that we possibly can with our network of services, with our equipment. And it's fitting that we're here to sign a contract with Stadler. They make the best rail car that's made in the world today. Uh, and we will have nothing but the best for Fort Worth. And as we sign this contract uh, today with Stadler, we know we're getting the best possible rail car vehicle uh, that we could and that's available today. So I'm very proud to uh, be part of this process and to be able to put my signature on that document. So, and I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, Peter Spuler, when he comes up, will probably tell us a little bit more about that rail car. And, um, but I'll leave that to him. But first, um, I'd like to um, ask our board chair, uh, Scott Mahaffey, uh, to come forward. Scott has uh, been our leader of the board and of the organization now for a couple of years, um, provides great leadership and, uh, and friendship to all of us. So please welcome Scott Mahaffey, our board chair. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Peter? On behalf of Fort Worth, welcome, and all your associates. Uh, you've come at one of our cooler time of years. We generally have about the same weather you have in Switzerland. Um, <laughs> you'll love it here. Now, today is a very special day in the life of TexRail. We've gone from a project on life support to a project that's full of life. Today is the day we sign a contract for over $106 million to build the eight DMUs that will drive our TexRail project. This is a huge day not only for Fort Worth but for North Texas and North Texas transportation because we are a region. We're a region that is growing, growing very fast and we have to look at all forms of transportation. There are many people who have been a part of this from the beginning. First of all, I, I have a few shout outs. One is to our um, FTA Regional Administrator, Bob Patrick. When I came into this job, I couldn't spell FTA, much less know what it was. Bob Patrick took the time to explain to me what was going on, what we needed to do, how we needed to go about doing it, and how we needed to correct some of the things we'd done in the past. We're blessed with strong uh, city leadership, not only the city councils, but we've had very two, two proactive transportation mayors. Mayor Price is a very transportation-oriented mayor, and so is Mayor Mike Moncrief. So to them, thank you very much, as well as Mayor Tate of Grapevine. They had many opportunities to step out of this project, but they always, Mayor Tate, made sure that they were in and have contributed huge sums of money to make this work, as well as our county commissioners led by Glenn Whitley. We have a, a very special guest who's also a friend of mine in this room that heads up the North Texas Council of Government, Michael Morris. Michael is the referee, arbitrator, and um, 
conciliatory to most people in, in transportation in North Texas. Uh, in fact, we meet this week, Michael, I'm looking forward to that. Secondly, uh, my board of directors, I can't say enough how they came in in a very tough situation and they, they worked hard. Uh, we, none of us knew how to spell FTA, by the way, but they, uh, they did a tremendous job. And there's one other individual, and I don't see him here today, Rob Harmon. Uh, Rob's been with us for at least a decade. He's been through every war that uh, Texrail has had. He's our CFO, chief negotiator, um, tells you things you want to hear, and then sometimes tells you things you don't want to hear as well. But he's be leaving us at the end of the month, so I think Rob, uh, he has done a tremendous job. But today, we're here to celebrate the entry into engineering which is the first step to make this project uh, real. It allows us to go in on the long lead times and start spending money building bridges, acquiring equipment, and real estate. That is huge. For, we go from the point of a project that's on a drawing board to a project that is, in actuality, spending money and things are going down. Great cities have great transportation. Fort Worth is, is a city of the 21st century and our region is a region of the 21st century. This project gives connectivity not only to our citizens, but connects our citizens to other areas of the Metroplex. That's why we're hoping that your uh, facility to manufacture our cars will be located in our North Texas region. That's my RTC speech, but uh, we're looking forward to have you as a, as a neighbor, as a friend, and we look forward to this day because this is such a huge day in North Texas transportation and we make the commitment that this train will be running in 2018. Thank you very much. Well, and now perhaps we can give a nice uh, Fort Worth, Texas welcome to Peter Spuler, who is the uh, group CEO and owner of Stadler. Peter. Dear Paul, Dear Scott, dear members of the board, we are very proud and uh, very happy to be here and that we can sign the contract over eight flirts today, four cars flirts. The to total amount of the flirts that we sold is 1,165 in 16 countries all over the world. But your flirt is the first one in a, D a DMU version. A new one. The amount of the contract is uh, around 100 million. It's a huge amount. And uh, we are very happy that uh, these um, flirts will connect Fort Worth with the airport. Maybe some words about Stadler Rail. We are a family owned company, not listed company, with 6,500 employees. Uh, the turnover is around 2.5 billion US, based in uh, Switzerland, but we have subsidiaries in Germany, Hungary, and uh, um, Hungary and um, Poland. And now we are here, and this is the fifth contract in the US, and the first one financed by FDA uh, money. This means that we have. Uh, to fulfill the Buy American Act, we have to um, uh, have to localize the uh, 60%, and now we are looking for the best um, um, the best uh, place. And one option, and I think it's a very good option, is uh, here, very close to the to the to the. Um, to the workshop of uh, DCTA. The other four um, orders are, we started with New Jersey a long time ago in 2000. Then we got the uh, order from Austin in 2005. And uh, the next one is, was a DCTA in 2008. And last year we won the tender for eBart in San Francisco. And now we are here, and we are very happy, and uh, thank you very much for all. Thank you. Well, 
Well, thank you very much, Peter. We appreciate those comments. And um, now we come to the, uh, to the good part, and that is the signing. And this is the point at which I turn it over to our communications department and uh, Nancy and, and Richard to instruct us what to do. But I know, Peter, if you and I can step over here to uh, the signing. I'm going to take my ID off, so I'll put it inside. You pick. You pick, and I'll take the other one. Go to the last page. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. Well, you know, so far, so 